Привет, друзья! Это новый выпуск нашего слова ток-шоу «Ход культуры». Это особая серия «Ход культур в городе». Вы помните, я говорил про то, за что мы любим город, за то, что в нем есть такие места, где вы себя чувствуете своим. Книжные, кафе, бары, рестораны и, конечно же, магазины, где можно прикупить настоящих виниловых дисков. Именно такой магазин находится в Петербурге на улице Марата. Это заведение «Фонотека». Именно в нем мы сегодня и будем снимать наше очередное видео. Я во дворе на Марат, потому что дождь идет, а когда дождь, лучше все-таки находиться внутри, как вы понимаете. Что важно? Важно, что проект этот не коммерческий, никто никому не платит. Мы просто с друзьями собрались и делаем в коллаборации с лейблом Rainy Days, с нашими техническими партнерами компании Video Republic и с микрофонами Nivaton. Вот, собственно, и все. Хорошего просмотра. Да-да, Золтан Ринальди, вот человек, с которым вы сегодня встретитесь. Индонезийский э, басист, который волю судеб оказался в Петербурге. Крутая история. Все дело в любви. Он сейчас сам вам об этом расскажет. Приятного просмотра. Ставьте лайки, поделитесь с друзьями. Да, и подпишитесь на наш телеграм-канал «Ход культур». Ссылка тоже есть в описании. Um, actually, it's kind of a bit long story because first I meet my wife uh, in Indonesia, like accidentally. So I want to record my album, and then I found her on the internet. So she offered some online recording, and then I just offered her to came to Indonesia on the launching, so she can play also on my launching. And then I just met her there, and I asked her to marry. And okay, I want to marry you, but. I only want to live in Russia. Okay, then I live in Russia, then, as you wish. So I've been here like I've married in 2017, so it's been three years, I think, and I still didn't speak Russian. At first, I'm kind of uh, a bit, you know, a bit overwhelmed with the cold. Even right now, for me, it's very cold it's because in Indonesia, it's every day 30, 32. Celsius, so it's not common for me. Uh, I'm playing the music by uh, Adam Rogers called The Invisible. I like Adam Rogers because he's a very versatile guy. You know, he played from Marcus Miller, Nora Jones to to anyone, to orchestra. And this The Invisible is actually one of the first song I heard from him because before I know he played with Terry Lynn Carrington and then Marcus Miller and then oh he also have a solo album so It's also interesting and it's one of the first song I heard from him so it's kind of memorable for me. And then uh, my second song is just my, my jam. Uh, I created for rainy days so it's called Rainy Jam. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
playing I saw some interesting CDs there or vinyl how do you say it vinyl right yeah, yeah. Some records. or CDs yeah I, I saw that Charles Mingus Charles Mingus this is Charles Mingus yeah this yep. man yep. not other man Charles Mingus Art Blakey we I heard got, a lot I think we've got uh, some Red Mitchell here uh, Red Mitchell this is very old school yep. oh this is my favorite man look at this <laughs> this is my favorite my partner is uh, Dima Semenishev, Dimitri Semenishev. He's a great, great double bass. Uh, he's my, my wife's uh, colleagues also. So they meet in a, in a university in the past. So it's kind of a small world, you know. And one of my favorite bassists and composer, he's not just bass player, you know, he's a, he's a great composer. The people is so different than, for example, for instance, Indonesian, Asian, I mean, you guys, uh, how is it, on the surface, you guys look tough, you know, kind of, oh, this guy may be difficult, Russians may be difficult, but actually, it's not, you know, you're actually very nice, kind guys, if you got time to know them, you know, it's just how I see it in the beginning, so now I'm just understand it, and it's just difference on dialect, you know, uh, maybe Asian is more, you know, soft, and the European side is more, tough, you know, to the point, <laughs> just, just like that. It's very jazzy, I think, especially, especially St. Petersburg, you know, the, the atmosphere, I like the people, I like the, you know, it's, it's laid back, you know, for me, well, Moscow also cool, but Moscow feels like more like Jakarta, you know, that, that capital feelings. St. Petersburg is like a cultural kind of thing, it's, it's undescribable, you know. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.